This presentation is aimed at an introduction of research students to the main data collection methods or tools in social sciences. So first, what is data? Data is a set of facts or evidences that are related to a particular topic of research and trust. So we know that we generally choose a research topic and in order to respond to our research questions or in order to achieve our research objectives with respond to the research topic, we need to collect evidence for it and so we need to have facts and figures. And so a set of those facts and evidences can be termed as data. Now these facts might be presented in various forms. So some of these might be in numerical forms, other might be in textual form or in pictorial form or in physical uh, form and so on. So there is a variety of ways in which we can actually represent data uh, in the research context. Generally, data collection is an essential component of the research process. And so the success of a research process actually depends on the collection and analysis of relevant and useful data and information. Now there are two main types of data in social sciences. The primary data, this is the data that is collected first hand for the current research or for the research that we are uh, conducting as researchers. While secondary data is data that is compiled from previous studies or records. So secondary data is not essentially uh, primarily collected for the research that we are conducting. It is, it might be collected for other researchers, but, uh, but because of their relevance to our research, we might also be interested in collecting the secondary data and analyzing data in order to have insights into the issues in our particular research. So now, the main data collection methods or tools in social sciences are two types. If we are collecting the primary data, then um, we have certain ways of collecting this data. Um, and so these tools and methods could be used both in quantitative uh, studies and in, quali and, and in qualitative studies. So generally in qualitative studies, the main research tools that we use for primary data collection include interviews and observations and qualitative content analysis. Interviews, again, uh, are actually generally uh, are a set of questions. So in many cases, interviews um, uh, for have further categories. So for example, there could be interviews that are very structured, something like questionnaires. But then there could, other, uh, form, there could be other forms of interviews, such as the semi-structured interviews, where we have some structure um, of the interview schedule, but then there is some flexibility in terms of the kind of questions that we include. And then the unstructured uh, type of interviews where the, the questions that we ask during the interviews are not pre-planned, but the researchers um, actually develop questions and they come up with new questions even during the process of the interview. So generally, if you are a beginner or a junior researcher, it is better to have structured or semi-structured interview questions. While if you are more experienced researchers, you might go for um, interview schedules that are based on lesser structured or unstructured questions. Then observation is another uh, primary data collection tool that is used in qualitative 
studies. So again, generally, there could be structured observations generally, but in qualitative studies, generally we have less structured or unstructured observations. Um, and then qualitative content analysis, which is something like thematic analysis, where we uh, search for themes in the qualitative, generally textual or pictorial data. Then the primary data collection tools that are used in quantitative studies include structured questionnaires and checklists and rating scales and rubrics. And all of these, generally the structured questionnaires and checklists and rating scales or rubrics are actually structured instruments that are generally in, the, in tabular form or in other structures. And the aim of these is actually to collect quantitative data in discrete form or in numerical form. Um, and so these are the main data collection tools, primary data collection tools in quantitative studies, uh, questionnaires, checklists, rating scales, and rubrics. And you can find information related to these various forms of quantitative uh, research tools on the net, but um, I'm also planning to um, have another session on these individually in order to give details related to these tools. Then the secondary data collection tools in qualitative research include qualitative content or textual analysis, where the qualitative text, for example, text uh, or content in, in books or in research reports or in papers or in any other textual form is actually analyzed using thematic analysis or quantitative content analysis. And so because generally books and research reports and papers are secondary data, um, they might not be collected um, as um, a information uh, that we collect through primary data collection tools. So that is why we say that these are secondary sources of qualitative data. And in secondary sources in quantitative data uh, might also be based on the quantification or numerical and statistical analysis of data that is already present in previous research reports or in previous books or in research papers. So when it comes to the concept of secondary data, secondary data could again both be in qualitative form, uh, generally in textual form or pictorial form in previous books and research papers and reports. And, but it could also be in quantitative form, in numerical form um, that needs statistical analysis. And so the statistical analysis of data, uh, generally quantitative data that is already available in previous reports and research books um, or in papers might be considered as secondary data. So to summarize, the main uh, data collection tools in, um, in uh, social sciences uh, include primary research tools that, in, that include interviews and observations and content analysis, questionnaires, checklists, rating scales, and rubrics, while the main secondary sources of, um, of data collection in social sciences include qualitative content analysis or quantitative analysis of, you know, of numerical values or, or statistical analysis of the previous research reports or books or the previous data that has been collected for, uh, for other research purposes or for other academic purposes.